Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, RGC, known as SIPA, has released a threatening video in its official Telegram channel. The video implies that Iran will start a war soon. The release of the video comes after Iran vowed retaliation for the killing of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran last week. Haniyeh was an honored guest at the inauguration of Iran's newly elected president Masoud Pazeshkian, and was killed when a long-range missile fired from an Israeli aircraft struck a guest quarters in Tehran. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei called for revenge immediately after the attack. However, Israel is not only facing retaliation from Iran but also from Hezbollah in Lebanon, where Israeli forces killed top Hezbollah military commander Fuad Shakr earlier. Amid the soaring tensions in the region, the United States has been deploying additional warships and fighter jets in Middle East to protect U.S. personnel and defend Israel. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned on Monday that Iran and Hezbollah attack on Israel was imminent. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant has issued a warning, saying, if they dare to attack us, they will pay a heavy price. Peace in the Middle East will only be achieved through a major conflict involving regional power brokers, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has suggested. Writing on his Telegram channel, Medvedev, who now serves as Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council, weighed in on the escalating tensions between Israel and Iran, as well as their partners and allies in the region and beyond. The knot is tightening in the Middle East. Sorry for the innocent lives lost. They are but hostages of a disgusting state. The USA, Medvedev stated, adding, it's clear to everyone that a full-scale war is the only way to a shaky peace in the region. His comments come in the wake of the assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in a rocket strike in the Iranian capital Tehran on Wednesday. Hamas accused Israel of orchestrating the attack and warned it would pay the price for the heinous crime. Israel has neither denied nor confirmed involvement, but Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu boasted that his country had delivered crushing blows to Hamas, the Houthis and Hezbollah, militant Islamic groups with close ties to Iran operating in Gaza, Yemen and Lebanon, respectively. Meanwhile, Iran also blamed Israel, adding that the US, Israel's main ally, shared responsibility for what it called a heinous act of terrorism. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, however, insisted that Washington was not aware of or involved in the assassination of Haniyeh. The killing of a senior Hamas official came after Israel confirmed that it had carried out a strike on Beirut, Lebanon, that killed Hezbollah commander Fouad Shukur. West Jerusalem has insisted he was behind the strike on a soccer field in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights that killed 12 minors. Israel and Hezbollah have been on the verge of open conflict and have exchanged cross-border attacks since Hamas launched its October 7 surprise attack on the Jewish state. The Israeli-Hamas war, which has brought unprecedented destruction to Gaza, has raised tensions throughout the region. Прямое попадание в блиндаж. Блиндаж уничтожен. Ангар полностью выгорел. Это вот все, что осталось от мотоцикла. Полностью все уничтожено. Прямое попадание в блиндаж. Блиндаж уничтожен. Ангар полностью выгорел.
это вот все что осталось от мотоцикла полностью все уничтожено 